Hi, this is Al Williamson. I'm with LeadingLandlord.com. I want to tell you about my worst day. That's when one of my coaching clients calls me and says they just got kicked off of Airbnb. And then I ask them, hey, did you do any of the things I suggested? Like, did you build a list where you stayed in contact with your past guests? Were you trying not to be overly reliant on Airbnb? And they say, no, it was too difficult. It was too much work and they're not that tech savvy. They're wiped out because they, they can't keep the, their leads coming and they can't keep their place filled. So when I was watching this video by Jesse Vasquez, and you got to subscribe to him, he's great. He's talking to Mark Simpson and they were going over some new updates for Airbnb. And Mark let out this great idea. He said Airbnb has a new update coming where they're letting you put links in their automated messages. That means when someone books, your place you can have a series of messages go out automatically at scheduled times and he suggested as soon as someone books send them a link that goes to a google form and allows them to enter their name cell number email address and and the reason why they're coming and then you can automatically build up a list without any sweat and it's super simple and I thought, oh man, this is great. This changes a lot of things because you can do a lot with that information. So stick around to the very end. I'm going to give you some suggestions on what you can do with that information that you collect from your clients, okay? Now this is going to be a full tutorial because I want it, everyone to have this information and I'm making it for free. Usually I would only share it with my people that I coach but I want to add to the community. I want to help people become less dependent on Airbnb. Yes, use them, but you need a backup. Okay, you need a backup strategy. So I'm going to do this in three parts. I'm going to share with you how to create a form. You're going to do that first, and then I'm going to show you how to incorporate that into your automated messages that you already have on Airbnb. And then you're going to invite your future guests and your current guests to fill out that form. All right, here we go. You're going to open up a browser. You're going to go to search bar and type in forms.google.com. I'll show you an overview of mine first. I call it the new guest form. And then I have a, a little note here that says Please complete to speed check-in and help us provide you with the best experience. And then I ask for the email, their first name, their last name, cell number, and then here's a little question here that says, please tell us what's bringing you to town so we can offer suggestions that will help you better enjoy your stay. So that is the part where you can get some information to help you understand what's bringing them to town. So, okay. Let's start here on forms. You can hit this new form here. And then you want to give your form a title. We can call it the client intake form. I'm going to put a star here because I don't want it to get mixed up with mine. And then go up right here at the title and click on it. It's going to give you um, the same thing as in here. So you can name your form. And for a description, I suggest you put in case the client reads it, that you put help us better serve you. And then got that there. Now for the first question, you want to click on that right there and then type in their um, first name. That'll be the first question. And you want that to be something called a short answer. You need to come down here next and go to required because that's a required response. Then you go to the plus, the add the, for the second question, and that's going to be last name. And that's going to be a short answer, perfect, a short bout of text. I'm going to come down here and make it required. I'm going to go to the plus again, add another question. And this one's going to be um, email address. And then, of course, that's a short answer. And that's going to be mandatory. I'm going to click there. Then the next question is going to be cell number. 
and that's going to be a short answer. It's going to be required. Then my next question, we're going to change it up here. This one's going to say, please share the reason you're coming to town so we can suggest things for you to do that will help you enjoy Sacramento. Now you can put the name name of your town there more. So that's going to be a paragraph this time and we're going to make it a required answer as well. Alright, let's look at that. Now this is really important because it's going to help you uncover some things. You might be able to see some trends and you might be able to find some employers that you're going to want to talk to. Cell number, email address. Okay. Then from here, you go to this button that says send and it's going to give you this link right here. You want to click on that and I recommend that you shorten the URL and then we're going to copy this link and save it to a Word document and pick it up later. Okay. And that's, that's the link that we're going to include in our Airbnb message right there. All right. Now, once the form's complete, when people start filling it out, their answer is going to be right here in response. Right now, of course, it says we're waiting on responses, no responses. But this is going to start filling out by itself once people respond to your uh, form, your survey. And then right here, you'll be able to go and, and get all their answers in a nice spreadsheet. So I'm going to, I'm going to save that link that I got right here short code in a Word document and then the next thing we're going to do open up Airbnb and learn how to send an automated message. You're in your Airbnb listing this is this is mine and I'm going to go to inbox here and then I'm going to go over here to all my messages and then go down to scheduled messages and here it says I don't have any I'm going to create a new message right here. and then in here I'm going to say um, free check in message so I know what that is it's English yep and then I'm going to type in the message here and it's going to be here this is what I'm going to use it says thank you for booking a stay with us we are thrilled to have you Real quick, please complete this short form so we can better communicate with you and assist you in getting the most out of your stay. And then a space, and then you drop in, it says here's a link, and this is where you drop in that link that we just created that's to that Google form. And I'm gonna paste it right here. Well, this is important here. We're gonna, right here, we're gonna say, hello, and then we're going to insert a short form. We're going to insert the person's first name. And say hello. And then the guest's first name that we just inserted. That just makes it a little friendly. You want to call them out. And you type in your link. That's all good. And then down here, it says select which listing you want to do it for. Do you want to go and click on all of yours? Okay, be sure to do that. And then the next thing is... Uh, scheduling right here in the action section I'm going to do it as soon as uh, booking is confirmed okay that's when to send I'm gonna send it five minutes afterwards then you hit the create button there and there you go you have your message and it's ready to send to all those people Now the third part of this is to send this message to your current guest and also to those who are incoming. So for incoming, this is going to take care of it. This right here, you already did it, it's going to send it five minutes after the booking. Now for the people who are already there, you want to copy this message here and then go to your messages to that guest and send it to them. So 
like I will go to my, my inbox and I'll see one of my clients in here I will in this message box right here will send them the message and and then you will see people on your Google form you go back to there and you look at responses and you're gonna see that list continues to grow and that's where the magic is I'm gonna share with you now the things I think you should be doing with your data that you collect so that you can be prepared in case Airbnb collapses on you so what do you do with the information you can discover where people are coming from and why they're coming to town you can also recommend places for them to eat and get commissions from those restaurants and then direct booking lease agreements get referrals so there you go you can build your list so that you can become less dependent on Airbnb automatically just follow those three things and if you like this video if you feel it helps you give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.